Hi, this is Michael, VK5ZEA, from Paul Lincoln in South Australia, with another YouTube video for you. Today I will be demonstrating how the VE3TNK uh, analog bridge in Canada allows three normally incompatible internet linking systems to talk together in harmony, uh, namely D-Star, IRLP and All-Star Link. I've got some radio set up here in the workbench and uh, I'll lead you through them and then we will give it a go. Okay, we've got two handheld radios here on the workbench. This one is an Icom IC91 AD and I've got that on the VK5 REXB frequency. That's my D-Star repeater which is also enabled with D-Extra linking. This handheld radio is another IC91 AD and uh, it's on the All-Star Link system. I've set up a node here locally and I'm using two meters, 146.45 megahertz and I'll show you the, the node, uh, just a little a PC uh, in a spin server rack mount case. The audio is through a DMK URI USB radio interface which is this little unit right here and for the RF side I'm using one of my Simoco SRM 9000 radios and uh, this I normally would use on uh, on D-Star and uh, you do, would have seen here my uh, one of my Satoshi DB node adapters and the Tate radio which I, am, uh, I normally use with that that's turned off at the moment so uh, as to hopefully not cause interference and finally up here is my old IC2350 radio and on the VHF side I've got that on the reverse frequency for my IRLP node which is now over in this rack that's the PC for it there featured in one of my other YouTube videos so hopefully I've got this ready to go uh, I've got Nick VK3BA in Geelong in Victoria standing by listening on X Reflector 5A and what I'll do is I'll list you an, a link command on here and uh, hopefully uh, it'll connect up and we'll be able to talk to Nick via D-Star. Okay. Module is linked. Okay, it's told me module is linked. Back to CQ, CQ, CQ. And I'll put a call out for Nick. VK3BA, VK3BA, VK5ZEA. Okay, Nick, yes, I've uh, connected up VK5 REXB to the X Reflector 5A and uh, coming th through uh, D Star. Now, what I'll do next is I'll link up the IRLP system I have here to the experimental reflector 0040, which should enable me to talk to you um, via IRLP. So just stand by, I'll do that now. Okay, that's working. Now what we'll do is we'll turn that down a little bit because the echoing audio can sound a bit confusing. Okay, we'll go to the IRLP radio and with the DTF microphone. Let's enter a zero just to make sure everything... Link clear. Okay, everything's fine. Now enter in the node 0040. Node number 0040. Link active. Okay, that's working. Now put a call out for Nick on this one. VK3BA, VK3BA, VK5ZDA. Oh, I'm coming back through D Star, I can hear, so hopefully he can hear me.
Okay, Nick, not a problem. Yes, you are correct. I'm coming through IRLP. Um, uh, hopefully this is coming through okay. I think you said it is. So what I'll do now is I'll link up the All Star Link node to the uh, All Star node 2200, which should allow me to talk to you on that system. Okay, so that was working, so we'll turn that one down a little bit. And this radio here is on the All Star Link system, so I shall enter the command for that to link up to the uh, reflector 2200. I use a slightly different command, so a star 32200, and hopefully. Okay, I'll make sure the other radios are turned down as to not cause confusion. And put a call out for Nick on this one. VK3BA, VK3BA, VK5ZEA. Roger, Roger, yes I am. Um, I'm coming through the All Star Link node. I can see the other radios are keying up here. I have the volumes turned down on them because it does get rather confusing. Uh, what I'll do now is I'll try something different. I'll link in to the All Star node using the telephone interface and uh, I'll try and talk to you on the phone. Okay, so that's working. Now, there's a phone on the bench here, and you would have noticed that, hopefully. And I've got that connected up to a Supura voice over IP box, which is uh, sitting here wedged between the two computers. Um, All Starlink uses Asterisk, the uh, voice over IP PABX system. And one of the features is that um, it allows access via a VoIP device. So I should be able to connect up to my node using the telephone. So make sure we've got a dial tone. That's a good start. So I'll enter my node number, which is 27871. So uh, 27871. Okay, it's ringing. I'm getting the voice prompt. It's a bit hard for you to hear this. Okay, so now that I've connected to node 22871, 27871, one for node access, which is what I want. Now, it wants my PIN number. Now, I won't tell you my PIN number and I won't show me entering it either. So, bear with me. Okay, that's worked. Okay. Okay, so two for function operated access. Now, I have to manually enter in the push to talk and hang up commands. And hopefully you also hear this come through on this radio here as well. Node V K 5 Z E A dash P connected to node 2 7 8 okay. 7 1 Okay, now a push to talk command is a star 99. So if I enter star 99 and talk, Nick should hear me via the phone. Now, once again, I'll turn this radio down, otherwise it'll get terribly confusing. And uh, so star 99, VK3BA, VK3BA, VK5ZEA. And a hash to hang up or pound sign if you're in the US. Okay, what I'll do now is I'll talk back with that up a little bit. So star 99, 
Yeah, VK3BA. Yeah, VK3BA. VK5ZA. Yeah, I'm hearing myself echo through, 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 through the radio. I'm actually talking to you on an old Telstra T200 touch phone. Connected via a VoIP box into my All-Star node. The echo is a bit disconcerting, but it is shown as I'm speaking into the phone and coming out of the radio. VK3BA, VK5ZA. Okay, so that works. that down a little bit more. Star 99 to push to talk. Okay Nick, very okay, good. Thank, very you good. Thank you for that. Well this demonstration well, has gone fairly smoothly, smoothly considering, considering uh, the, all the problems all the that problems could that possibly happen. happen. Um, so thank uh, you for, thank your, time. for your time. I'll, uh, I'll finish, uh, up here, finish up here and then, and then um, um, hopefully I'll talk to you a bit later on. VK3BA, VK5ZDA. Okay. Yep, 73 is Nick. Thanks for your time. Yes, I actually hung up the phone during your last over and the disconnect of voice ID came over your uh, your over that time, So, but it, it was uh, quite understandable. Um, yes, it's all gone very smoothly this time and uh, thank you for your time and uh, hopefully it'll uh, catch up with you very soon. VK3BA, VK5ZEA, 73s and uh, I'll be finishing up here. Okay. Okay, so that works. Um, so there you have it. Um, not much more to say. Uh, this amazing bridge system in Canada allowed successfully three different systems to talk together. Um, towards the end there, when I had all the volumes turned up, you could hear there was some latency delays in each audio stream. Um, but certainly, all three were transmitting when Nick was transmitting on the other end. Anyway, there you go. Anyway, this is VK5ZEA, Michael in Port Lincoln. Thank you for your time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll see you next time. This is VK5ZEA, 7-3s.